Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's whiskey ramblings. How beautiful is this? I mean the Gorge du Verdon, which is basically the Grand Canyon of the Provence in southern France. And behind me here is the beautiful Bridge of Galetas, I will show you in a second. But bridge is actually a very good bridge to what I want to talk to you about today. Because the whiskey that I would like to talk to you about today is this one, the bridge. It is a, a release by the uh, Loch Ri distillery, which is basically a rather new distillery. It was only founded in 2016, 17, whatever. They started distilling in uh, October, November 2018. So basically their own whiskey is still maturing. They have not yet released their own Irish whiskey. Did I say Irish? Yes, the, the Loch Ree distillery is smack dab in the middle of Ireland, in Lanesboro. Now, their, their claim to fame at this moment is probably the Slingshot Gin, because that gin has already won numerous, numerous awards. And basically, it's the first and, as far as I know, only gin that uses peat as a botanical. Wow, that's quite unique. But while their single malt is quietly maturing and getting ready to be bottled by the Clancy family, they have a series of single malts that they uh, have released under the name the bridge. They've got several, but all of them are sourced whiskey. Some of them are from Cooley, some of them are from the Great Northern Distillery, some of them are from Bushmills. And this one, for example, is the, the Bridge Barley Harbor, a single cask, six and a half years on a bourbon cask, and it is in fact sourced whiskey from the Bushmills Distillery, which basically means that I will be expecting uh, some citrusy notes, some vanilla, maybe some coconut, some tropical notes even. I'm not entirely sure. This is a single cask that yielded 354 bottles and this is bottled at, I have to take a peek, 43% ABV. The Love Lachry Distillery from Lanesboro, the Bridge Barley Harbor on the nose. This is a beautiful bright golden. It's almost Ah, I was going to say sunlight, but I might be just a tad biased here in this beautiful Provence. Let me just try to put this down without it toppling over. Please don't fall over. Don't fall off the cliff. That's not what we want. What, where was I? Yes, the, uh, the lovely distillery Barley Harbour. Lovely distillery Barley Harbour on the nose. Exactly as expected. Lots of sweetness. Vanilla, coconut, a floral note in there as well, but very fresh and very lively. A hint of white chocolate, but then, and that's the most important part, the most interesting part, I get mango, I get pineapple, I get a bit of coconut. Lovely, fresh and fruity, exactly as you would expect from the Bushmills distillery on the palate. silky soft. The fact that it's at 43% helps in this case, I think. Vanilla, white chocolate, buttercups, coconut again, a slight bit of pepperiness in there, but not too much. Just a little bit of licorice there as well. But the, the, the oak influence is quite tiny and this is mostly very fruity, very fresh and very enjoyable on the finish. The finish is not overly long, rather short in fact, but nevertheless quite satisfying as it remains sweet, tropical, fruity, with just a tiny wee bit of pepper at the end. Lovely, lovely Bushmills, in this case from the Loch Ree Distillery in Slanesboro in Ireland. While we await their very own single malt releases, we have to make do with these sourced whiskies, but they are pretty, pretty good. And this was the, uh, the Bridge Barley Harbour coming to you from the Gorge du Verdon, the, 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 yeah, the Grand Canyon of the uh, French Provence. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the malt be with you. Bye-bye.